name is Brian French. Uh, my wife and I and parents own Lennox Farms 1988 Limited in North Melanchthon, Ontario. Uh, I'm fifth generation farmer. My great great grandfather farmed in Toronto in 1883. We're sort of a middle sized vegetable farming operation. We grow a lot of rhubarb, uh, English peas, Brussels sprouts are our main three. We also have a uh, roadside market, so for that we grow probably another 15 to 20 items to supply that for the summer. Rhubarb has been in our family for well over 100 years. Um, we grow, right now we're growing roughly 90 acres of it. 25 acres we sell in the summer months, May, June and early July. Right, so we pick inside rhubarb from February uh, until May, then we're outside until July and then we have a late season rhubarb that we just started picking and it will go till it freezes up so essentially we were able to get rhubarb almost 10 months of the year. My name is Jeanette French and I uh, live and work here at Lennox Farm, part of the French family. Uh, my job at the farm is kind of to make things run smoothly every single day so I'm in charge of uh, hiring and training, ordering, filling jobs that aren't filled, so going up to the field and helping uh, harvest or uh, work in the kitchen, uh, making uh, baking and cooking, uh, making sure orders are filled for customers, uh, responding to emails, checking uh, the website, updating the website. So uh, we wholesale our products uh, from the field to the food terminal, as Brian explained, but we also have a roadside market and uh, we uh, grow about 25 crops to um, market and sell at our roadside stand. Uh, we've had the stand for over 20 years, but it's been in the family for uh, many generations. So market gardening, uh, market farming has been in the family for a long time and we're just carrying on the tradition. You have to grow what suits your land and uh, we have figured out how to grow certain items that you can't grow in other parts of Ontario in certain seasons so we're able to capitalize in some markets that way. A lot of our crops are all hand-picked you need a lot of bodies to pick that crop. Um, we are able to do some stuff mechanical and we have to keep inventing new tools to be able to do that to cut down on the labor. I believe that's across the board. Um, besides cash croppers, they have lots of machinery, but any vegetable, it's all hand-picked generally. They're hand-sorted, so it takes a lot of bodies, and they're hard to find. I don't know. I, we need people to take over. Um, like, I'm, in, I'm almost 40, which is really young for a farmer nowadays, because uh, a lot of my peers are my father's age, so where are they going to be in 10 years? Probably not farming anymore. So we need people to take over. There's lots of ways to do it. Um, you can go on a small scale with a roadside market, sell direct to consumer. Um, that's probably the easiest way to get in if you have small acreage. Um, if you somehow win the lottery, you can definitely buy an operation. That's an option. But uh, it's just too far out of reach for a lot of young people to get into. So. I was thinking for about 15 years what I wanted to get. I wanted to get a tattoo in the worst way. I didn't want butterflies or anything like that. So uh, I'm passionate about my farm. I'm passionate about what I grow. So I put it on my arm. So you have rhubarb, strawberries, English peas, Brussels sprouts, and I like to grow flowers in our gardens. Love sunflowers. And then just a little uh, thing saying I'm fifth generation dirt farmer. You have to uh, sun, moon, and stars, you know. You get up in the morning, you see if the Big Dipper's uh, flipped over or not, you're going to get some rain coming, so you have to know. I love the challenge of it every year. Like I said, every year it's always different. So you learn something, you try to apply it, you have to adapt, you always have to be on your toes. You know, you're working for yourself, that's a bonus. It's nice to have fresh air and open space and um, and to be able to put your hands in some dirt and put a seed in and then later on uh, down the road see how many ways you can use that product. It's, it's really exciting to know that you can produce something that other people can enjoy and, and make other people healthy. 